In a state that struggles for voter turnout, this isn't something Georgia sees often. For a midterm election, we have never seen this kind of interest and turnout. This is a historic number of people coming to vote. I was hoping it wouldn't be quite this long, but you know, we accepted it. This way, please. And this is our patriotic duty, isn't it? Usually there's no line, we just no walk line. straight in. So that shows that people want a change. Hundreds of people at voting precincts lined up for hours in some counties to cast their ballots early. This election is probably the most important election we've had in a long time. Voters and political experts alike say this election isn't like ones in the past. <laughs> this is the needle swinging back. The highly competitive governor's race is the ballot item drawing out voters. We have broken records. We have voted more than we did in the presidential early voting. Hands down, it's the governor's race that's doing this. The race has gained national and international attention in part because no black female candidate has ever come this close to becoming a governor as Democratic candidate Stacey Abrams. We don't need them hiring out of Canada because they can't find folks in Grovetown. Democrat in this state is looking at a roughly a 200,000 vote deficit. If you compare the turnout in the Democratic primary this year with that of four years ago, yeah, she made up that 2,000 votes. So I, I mean, as soon as I saw those numbers, that this is bound to be encouraging to her. But also because Abrams has accused Republican candidate and Secretary of State Brian Kemp of voter suppression, an issue that has a history of decades-old tensions in the South. It was a key topic during the first Georgia gubernatorial debate. Under Secretary Kemp, more people have lost the right to vote in the state of Georgia. They've been purged, they've been suppressed, and they've been scared. In a statement to the Washington Post, Kemp's press secretary called it a manufactured crisis. This farce about voter suppression and people being held up from being on the rolls and being able to vote is absolutely not true. Anyone who is, meets the requirements that's on the pending list, all they have to do is do the same thing that you and I at home have to do. Go to your polling location, show your government ID, and you can vote. Abrams rose from the ranks as a state representative to the first woman to lead either party in Georgia's General Assembly. Her campaign strategy has been to mobilize new voters and re-energize apathetic ones. It's like, oh, I don't want to get into local politics, but then I saw her get out with the community and my heart was stolen. She actually lit a fire in me. I actually want to do this. I never wanted to go and address people and be like, are you voting? Because this election is getting so much attention, uh, it's naive to think that Republican numbers are also going to be up. It's not like they're a fixed target and the Democrats can kind of run up the numbers. No, I think both sides are going to be in increasing participation. The other candidate, I can't deal with that. She's too socialist. Well, he's a lot like Trump in a lot of ways. I guess that's what draws me to him and what he stands for and uh, his beliefs and everything. And uh, I think he'd make an excellent governor. For much of the race, polls show Abrams in a nearly dead heat with Kemp. Things are certainly getting tighter. You know, does Abrams win? If everything goes away, it typically would, and then no, she won't. But she can make she can make it close. Among close watchers of Georgia politics, Kemp is still favored to win. If I had to go make a bet right now, I would bet on Kemp. Especially after his performance in the primary runoff against Casey Cagle. Kemp won that runoff by unprecedented margins. You just have to pray for your, your leader, which is what we're supposed to do, whichever one it ends up being. But I think she has a good chance. To, you know what, I'm going to do what I can to help. I can go down there and say I did my civic duty and don't feel guilty if my candidate loses by one vote. <laughs>